That's the question: is what kind of music? Hmm. What? What? Well, yeah. What you got today? I don't know. Maybe we just go back to the old '80s music. Maybe that's what we run. Not mad. Run the '80s music. We need some music. What are we gonna do, everyone? Man, there's already people waiting. Those are my favorite people. The people that are waiting already. Uh, that, yeah, those are the best. Those are the best. Clearly, by far, don't tell the people that show up late, but they're the best. These people. Okay, uh, 80s music, is that the one? 90s Where's rock. Sweet? Fab TCG card says 90s rock. I don't know if I will just get copyright struck if I put on 90s rock. There is no option to, <laughs> to get around that one. Uh, I don't know, man. I you know I had. Oh wait, it's in the downloads folder. That's right, because I'm so organized. I keep all of the good stuff in the down. There we go, in the downloads folder. Oof, that's that's loud in my ears. Boom. All right, I know you can't hear it. I wish I could play it for you, but you know, it is what it is. You know, is there a way for me to be able to play music for you? Um, I'm not really sure, but it's not a super big deal if it's not piping on my end. Um, I, can I think that. I just think that'd be cool, man. I just think it'd be right? a, like a cool thing to be able to do. Oh, you know, I'm I sure there's that. a good way. Like, a, oh, you you know, you could use a multi-output device. I um, could. Hmm. Like, uh, I think Soundflower is the Mac one, I can't remember the PC one that, um, I have it installed, but I don't remember what it's called. They're all, like, a little bit kind of janky and weird to use. I feel like I have to fiddle with the settings every time I use one of them. I gotta, see, so there's, like, so many, like, little upgrades that I need to make if I want to do multiple, like, streams, like, as a big thing going forward, which I have always loved to do. Um, but, like, I gotta get a stream deck so it's just easier to, like, do transitions and stuff. Stuff yeah. like that, man. I just I gotta, like, get a new desk. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a new desk. That's the number yeah. one thing. Yeah, I just, this summer, so my office is actually in my garage. It's, like, a 9x9 nine nine room that we built. Oh, that's cool. And my, this desk, like, this whole setup pushes underneath and then I can sit at my desk normally and then pull this out so I'm like almost in the middle of my room right here yes but kind it's of nice awesome, that though. it just goes right under it's kind of awesome you know I should since we're on right now we should show everyone hello hold on let's hit the old let's hit the old button Boop. the old transition see there we go now you can see what he's talking about since he's up there in the corner got a professional like level stream right here and I didn't do anything except press go that's pretty sweet I dig it oh yeah that looks nice I'm very jealous of your table lighting though it looks so good <laughs> you know it is what a, it's yeah these these photography lights are pretty cheap yeah yeah I need to just you know figure out where I'm gonna fit it. This, if you can't tell, my room is like packed to the teeth with just gear. I need to part with some probably and make room for your other stuff. I get that. I need to do the same thing actually. I need to clean this place up and try to get things more organized. I was watching, I don't know if you, uh, if you know Red Zone Rogue, but I was watching Red Zone Rogue recently and uh, he has a, a video that just went out like I don't know today maybe where he showed his like updated studio that he's making stuff with and I was like man that dude has like the most legit <laughs> organizational setup thus far and I'm over here like just things strewn about willy nilly <laughs> there's like a package sitting to my left it's like my desk is in absolute shambles I don't know what yeah. to do I just need to get I just need to get organized you know, it's it's a constant struggle. Fab TCG cards over here with the uh, that's a sexy mat. It is, man. <laughs> it is. I wonder where I got it. It was sent to me by a wonderful person, which just is is just good. That's just good. You love to see it. Looks great. <laughs> 
All right. I know. I need... Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, I, I was, was just saying, I need to upgrade. I need to get a flesh and blood playmat. They're just like, you know, at least the official ones are, are kind of crazy. They are, and it makes me a little sad because I honestly would love. There's so many of them that are just beautiful, and I would, yeah. I would really love to have like lots of them. Uh, but it's it, for me, it's one of those situations where I have to pick one or the other. I either invest in those or I invest in cardboard. Yes. And I'm just that's, not sure which way to go, man. <laughs> I've let I've I've done the cardboard thing, and with the new set coming out, I'm not sure. Do I just bite the bullet on another play mat because it's nice to like I have the um, I have the crucible of war one under this oh, and nice. I love that play mat but it's nice to see something a little bit different a little bit fresh from time to time you know yeah I Change need that mat time. said Eddie he needs that mat what's up hunt seeker 27 how's it going Morris is watching from Sydney Australia that's kind of cool, man. Is, so let's see, what time is it in Sydney currently? It would be like, um, let's see what time is it now. It's like eight something for me. So it would be uh, noon or something like that. Noon tomorrow. Easter <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> yeah, man, 11.05, oh, okay, Zombie I was close. Jesus Day. I was very close. Uh, every time I think about buying a playmat, I buy cards instead. You know, I'm okay with that. That's what I do too. So, if we both do it together, we can't be wrong. Or if we are wrong, I guess we're wrong together. I'm not sure. I don't know what the rule is there. Do, do, wrong, do, do. wrong in company, at least. That's right. That's right. Wrong in company. Most things in company are better. Okay, so do we want to just, like, get this thing rolling? Yeah, yeah. Are you up good. to do some sealed? Okay, so here's the thing. If you don't know what sealed is, people, you should, because sealed is fantastic. If you don't know what sealed is, here's what we're going to do. We have six packs. Okay, of flesh and blood. Welcome to Wraith. we got six whole packs. And we are going to crack all of them. And then we have to build a 30-card minimum deck from the six packs contents. Um, we cannot cross over, um, like, uh, classes. It has to be, like, class-specific cards to whatever class we choose. Uh, we don't have to stick with the class that we open in the, like, or any of the classes that we open in the packs. We can pick whatever class we want, um, and we can supplement our pulls here with the heroes and the weapons from whatever we want. But we have to stick with the equipment and the class cards and generic cards that we pull. 30-card deck? Um, I don't know. Anything else? Did I miss anything? No, nah, I mean, I've played a lot of Magic Sealed, but uh, I haven't. I, I'm excited to crack these and get this going. I, if, I, I haven't played it yet. If you can't build a 30 card deck, you have to find cracked bobbles. That's the okay. best part. And if you uh, don't have cracked bobbles, then I, I think you just throw a card in there and pretend it's a cracked bobble. Oh, I, I've, I think I've got a couple bobbles Sweet. lying around. Sweet. And then if you pull a heart then you automatically win. <laughs> I think that's the rule. If you pull a heart, you automatically win. And I can say that because that happened last time I, w I did a sealed on stream. Because wow. I, was, I was fortunate enough to pull a heart because nine dimes, the, the legend, told me to pick num pack number nine. And I opened it first pack and oh boom, there it gosh. was. It was the sickest pull. It was the sickest pull on stream. I don't think I've had a sicker pull on stream. It was pretty sweet. Now the question is, did you brave putting it in your deck and playing with it? <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I did, you ready? I put it in a sleeve and I put it right here, and then I proxied some random card. Yep, that's I exactly. Scribbled, <laughs> I scribbled Art of Fiendal on it, and I just ran with it. That's what happened. That yep. was the play. I think that is the strictly best line there. <laughs> uh huh. So I, did, I, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to actually put it in the deck. And the people that do actually put it in decks, they are braver souls than I. Just <laughs> leave it at that. They are much braver souls than I. So, uh, we want to just crack these things. You ready? Yeah, let's get rocking. Alright, here we go. I have, let's see, do I have like a double, double, double? No. Okay, look, I've got two, two, one, and one. Chat, does someone want to tell me what pack to open first so that we can pull a heart again? That'd be sick. I want to know. You can you can feel free to get cracking if you want. All right, yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I go Dorinthia. I'm gonna go Dorinthia first since she's it's the lone Dorinthia pack. 
And then I'll, whatever someone says in chat, that's what I'll open next. Unless they also said Dorinthia. Wow, pulling a heart and seal. Dude, it happened. It happened. I'm gonna do the pack thing, too. Ooh, this is a perfect time to check my my white balance, which is absolutely just abhorrent. Look at this. It looks terrible. Let's fix it. Go here, go here, go here. Press some buttons, turn the brightness. Whoa, the game just turned itself up for some reason. Don't know how that happened. And then knock this down. Oh, see, it's it's got to be... What is going on here? What is, what is going on? Figure out the best, the optimal piles for the deck building phase. Yes, that is the interesting thing in this. I split to generics and class cards. That's what I yeah. do. Just generic class card it up. I think that's good. All right, it's super dark now, but it, it is what it is. Generics and class is how I split it. Okay, so that's a token. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're doing the pack thing, because that's my favorite. Crush Confidence Red. I like to see that. Interesting. I'm going to slide these out of the way. Always pick Bravo was told to me just now, and so now I have to pick Bravo next. Generics are hugely important in the, in the sealed game. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Cool. Hey, oh my god, everyone's favorite Drone of Brutality. I can't play that. I don't think I'm allowed I, to play that. Oh, I feel snap. like, uh... Yeah, how does that work? Yeah, in, I know in Magic, when a card gets banned <laughs> in Standard, you can still play it in Limited. Yeah, uh, it's... Honestly, it's stronger in Limited than it is in... <laughs> than yeah, because uh, the constructed. decks are so small. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I got a foil Mugenshi release. That is cool. I will take that. Okay, Bravo was called next, so we got to pop the Bravo pack and see what we get. See what's in here. I don't expect great things because I got these packs like towards the bottom. I think it's banned in all formats, Fab TCG cards. But correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm playing a red drone. Four, five, six, seven. If if it wasn't, I got these uh, bottom of the like box basically. Went to my local game store. I was like, I need packs. He was like, here you go. <laughs> Dude, are you serious right now? These poles are solid. Blessing of Deliverance, Potion of Strength, and a Foil Blue Sigil of Solace. Everyone's favorite, Game 2. That's what you need, right? I see. All right, we're going with the, uh, we're going with the Katsu. Let's see what we pull. See what's going on. I'm mostly pulling brute. Oh, dude, brute is at least in terms of rare, or um, you know, yeah, starting at rares. Oh yeah. Five, six, seven. Ooh, this one's a chipped up card. That's how you know it's good, right? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing so far. This is an interesting uh, demolition crew. That's interesting. Wounded bull. I might be doing some brute stuff. Oh, geez, especially when we see that. Oh, we got a Showtime, though. That's pretty cool. Nice. Interesting. And a Foil Red Iron Song response. That's also interesting. Could be Guardian, too. Could be a Guardian pack or car a Guardian sealed. Depends on blues. It always depends on blues. Jeez. Bravo just showing up. Right when we start talking about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Hmm. This is quite interesting. Blue. Another red razor. Oh, and a refraction bolter. That's huge. Savage. Ooh. Overpower. Foil <laughs> blue scar. Mmm, where's Benji when you need a foil blue scar? We'll find out. So here's what I was thinking. I was thinking we could play a game built with, um, you know, like what we have. And then if we wanted to, we could take a minute. We could build a different deck with the same card pool and try it running it a different way. Depending yeah, on how our pools go, really. Yeah, yeah, I, I could be into that for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Speaking of which, a little Iron Song Determination. Hey. All right. 
Right. That is scary. Oh my god, I got a crippling crush. Dude. Ooh. That is something. And a blue wrecker romp. Interesting. Okay. I have one pack left. We have a showtime and a crippling crush. Good lord. Alright, all we need is a part of Fiendal in this pack, because if we get it, then we can pitch it and gain one resource. <laughs> or gain one life, excuse me. Three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, here we go. Another one of those. Eh, mm, this is going to be an interesting kind of a setup here. A sink, interesting. Yellow slogism. Hope Merchant's Hood. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's a good one. And then the Wounded Bull. Cool. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Hmm. So the first thing I always do is I straight up just count. Yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I compare that to equipment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Beautiful. 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And just a buku number of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, 14 as well. Okay. As far as equipment is concerned. We got, oh, we got too many doubles. That's unfortunate. We can go with those, though. We can go with those. Hmm. Yeah, Clark says Guardian it is. I think Clark is right. I think Guardian it is. Now, the real question, did we pull the Guardian tokens? If so, I don't have to go fishing for tokens. <laughs> no, we didn't. Okay, that's okay. I can go fishing. Um, so that's cool. Now the other question... Let's break these down. Blue, blue, yellow. So how are you looking over there? You know, I think it's going to be warrior or brute. Uh, oh, yeah? I still need to decide, but just didn't have kind of enough to really look at, at ninja or guardian. Um, equipment, <clears throat> I think, kind of, I only have a guardian head, um, but maybe that's not the end of the world to not be wearing a hat. I don't really know. You wait. You only have a guardian head. Yeah, that that's the only piece of head equipment I got. Oh yeah, that's fine. I never really, I never really worried too much about that. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Got hmm. Okay. This is not enough blues. This is scary. Oh wait. Just kidding. I pulled all these blues. <laughs> I pulled all these blues over here. All right, so if we can run drone, then that's a thing. But I don't think we can. I don't think it's allowed. I think it's banned. Guys, sound off. Drone's banned and sealed, right? That's what I thought. We can't run our red drone that we pulled. This is a yes, a yes. Um, honestly, yes. I'm just tempted to just chuck all those in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty. I'm one short. Look at this. One short. Oof. Running all like no generics. Oh, I'm or... running generics certainly. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely like... running generics. All right. So if that's the case, then we. Red slog is good. That one's good. Yellow would be nice, but does not necessary. So this puts you at thirty. I'm hmm. gonna go the warrior red. And how many was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen. So half the deck is that. That seems pretty good. Uh, I think the ban announcement only states Blitz and CC. Pit Fight and Limited should still be fine. Well, sweet! If Josh says it, it must be right. 
That would be my inclination. You know, you're playing what's in the packs. And and it's not like you can go with... swap it out for That's you right. know, that, that spot in your pack. Fab TCG card says it too, so I believe the two of them. They're smart. <laughs> so we're running with it. Now the question is, do you want to add more than 30? And I think sometimes you do. But how much more and what is the question as well? I don't know. Two, mm. I don't know. How many, like, actual... One, two, three... This card kind of sucks. This card kind of sucks. Those cards kind of suck. <laughs> hmm. So there's three cards I'm not super in love with. Those are good. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Interesting. So can we cr can we scrap these? I wonder. You know, I'm just gonna keep that one. Three or green. You know what? They they uh, block three. Blocking three is pretty solid. Is drone going to win me a game, dude? It could be. It could win me the game. Who knows, right? I don't know if I go over, maybe I do go over 30 somehow. Stick something in here. I think that's kind of a weird play, but I'm gonna do it. Um, the rest of those don't matter to me. You know what? I am gonna do that one in two. So this gives me 32 cards, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 32. The last booster box I opened it, I had three Majestics in the last six packs. Bottom of the box can be pretty good. Well, it seems to have done pretty well so far. The question is, Will it all work? And I guess the other question is, am I gonna, like, find sleeves? I had some sleeves sitting out, but I don't know, hold on, I gotta find some sleeves. Oh, jeez, I just bumped the desk. We're going for the gold. I don't know if gold looks good for Guardian, but we're gonna give it a shot. I bought these gold sleeves to use for um, to use for Shiana, and then I put it on, and I was like, "No, this looks bad. <laughs> it did not look good, in my opinion." I kept it silver. Yeah, yeah, I could see. I, I, I think I like the silver for that. It worked really well. I was surprised. I was like, "Yes." I thought, you know, rose gold. If rose gold was a thing. That would be good. But, don't know any rose gold sleeves. Unless anyone else knows some rose gold sleeves. That'd be sweet. I've been trying to just use all the same sleeves for everything so that I can just keep them on cards and not have to be constantly re-sleeving stuff. That is a very smart thing to do. So what color did you pick then? You know, just the old dragon shield black mat. There you go. I, do you maybe do, that's a little boring. But, is it the uh, black or the jet? I I go for the mat. I think it's. I, gosh, I don't know. So the uh, the the jet ha ha is black with like sparkles on the back. Like they added some like, it's basically just the black mat sleeves. Yeah, but, maybe uh, it, it it does kind of have a little bit of sparkle to like it. So sheen. maybe that's the. I love the jet. I, I don't actually think I own. I don't think I actually own the blue. Or the, the black ones, just straight up black. The blue play mat makes it hard to see the cards. Do you mean mine? Mine's black, but it may look blue on your screen. I think maybe mine. Yeah, unfortunately my lighting is just not gonna be great. It's a work in progress. But that's okay, man. We're not competing for 
a gold foil card, so I don't think we need yeah. to stress it, you know? Not too bad. All right. So you, you picked what again? You picked Dorinthia over there. Yeah, and I need a, I need four more here. So She's really see. good. Yeah, you know, I'm not really sure what I'm doing yet, and I'm fairly comfortable with what her. That's important. Pick something you're is, comfortable so. with. Yeah. That's that's super important. Got that foil rare sigil of solace. Watch out! I'm gonna gain two on you. <laughs> Spoiler alert, that's in my deck. So what are you playing currently? What's your uh, what's your current go-to, if you have a class so far? Um, you know, I, I, I would say Ninja so far is what Ooh. I've been playing the most. Uh, probably just because I, I got a Mask of Momentum that uh, I feel like that's just one of the best cards that I have. Oh, um, I haven't opened card. like boxes and boxes and boxes. Sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I've been kind of playing around a little bit. I, I just went and got to play on Thursday at my local game store. It was like awesome. their first time having it. Yeah. It was actually my first time playing cards in person in a year. So that was amazing. Yeah. It'd feel good. Um, yeah, and I, I was playing just a mech deck they had that was super fun. And I really like engine building in mm. games. So yes. that seems like something that might be fun, but I'm just not really sure yet. Mech is super fun, especially if you like the putting the pieces together to get something crazy going. It definitely yeah. does that, which I think is a you know something I appreciate. I like and appreciate that. You know what I just realized? I don't have a Bravo or a or a weapon. Hold on, I gotta get a Bravo and a weapon. Boom, I got my actual Bravo deck out. I don't need this Seismic Surge token because I don't have a... Uh, I don't have a sick pull of a Legendary, unfortunately. <laughs> Did you get anything spicy over on your end? Uh, not anything super spicy. No, like, no Legendaries or anything like that. Um... I don't know, maybe that, like, what was it? Iron Song Determination. That's a good card was probably up there for me. It's a good card in sealed. It makes things uncomfortable. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. I've switched from Black Mat to Jet recently. Fab TCG, Fab TCG card says that, and uh, that's a good call, man. Katana sleeves are my favorite at the moment. I have never purchased some Katana sleeves. Are those worth it? I've never purchased those. Have you? Do you have any katana sleeves? I do not. Like I said, I've never purchased them, but I've I've always seen them there, and they're comparable in in price to Dragon Shield, from what I could tell. But never never purchased them myself. I've not tried katanas yet. I tried Game Genic. I like their penny sleeves, but not their standard really. Drone was banned in Blitz and CC, so you're good. Yeah, we're gonna drone them. Watch out. I think I'm way behind you, and I'm just now getting sleeved up. Oh, that's okay, because I'm going to sit here and shuffle in. And anyone that wants to ask me a question in chat, or ask us a question, or just talk about something, feel free to fire away. I'll tell you what I did today. I went to both of my son's soccer games, and they both played really hard, and that was really good to see. So that was nice. pretty fun. <clears throat> I went to this place called BJ's Brew House. It's a chain, it's like national chain restaurant Home afterwards. Of the Pazuki. My God, we had. So I did not know that they've expanded their Pazuki selection. Oh, oh, I did not know this. Okay, so <laughs> they have uh, banana bread, no monkey bread. Excuse me, monkey bread Pazukis. I have been absolutely ruined for Pazukis now <laughs> after eating that. I will not eat 
Well, that's not true. I will still eat a just a normal Pazuki or like one of the other ones. That is fantastic. That Pazuki was just, just fantastic. So I had that, which was a bit, a bit much. It was so decadent. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that was a good time. Enjoyed that. Mowed the lawn today because you know you got to get your dad stuff in, right? Got to get my, <laughs> my uh, chores done, as they say. Why is I don't have Mage Master boots? Why are these out? What cam and setup do I use? All right, I have. Oh, dude, you've been streaming Legend of Ruteo. That's cool. I streamed that for a little bit, and then I kind of got out of that game. I, I realized it was too much like Magic: The Gathering with combat tricks to me, and it just kind of died on me. When I made that realization, um, I use a Logitech C920. It is mounted on a desk mount, a desk webcam mount. And, um, yeah, I've, I've used this for just a very long time. Quite, quite a long time. And it's a good, it's a good little setup. I like the setup myself. Logitech C920 is super good. If they still, I, I don't know, man. It's, it can be hard to find them because, as we were talking earlier, you know, when the pandemic hit, everyone scrambled to get, you know, set up online. So all of the, uh, all, All of the webcams, webcams yeah. just went straight up out of sale. But if they've caught up, you should get a Logitech uh, C920, anybody, and uh, set that up with a little desk mount. Then I use OBS on top of that to just do this sort of stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I want to see how this works, this uh, Bravo Sealed. I don't think I've ever played Sealed Bravo. I've played Ninja, I've played Brute, I've played Brute, I've played Brute. I've played <laughs> Dimension oh, Brute. Like brute. <laughs> uh, well, you know, sometimes the uh, the packs decide, don't they? Yeah. There was one I remember I was like very close to being able to make like a warrior out of it, but Brute was slightly better, and even then it was still bad. That was a that was not a fun sealed event uh, <laughs> to build decks for. It was fun to play, but. Otherwise, not so much. Finding a webcam was tough for a while there. Ended up with a Razer Kio. I have never heard of the Kio. It's a Razer made webcam? Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm gonna have enough, like, cards to give the old Don Blade go again. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a tricky thing in, uh, in this format. I don't know. I've never played Warrior in Sealed. That's why I want to do more Sealed and more Draft things, because I feel like there's, like, untapped experiences, you know what I mean? You know, when you get into situations where you're playing cards that you might not have played in the first place, and you can see, like, the one situation that might be really good, you yeah. know? Finding all the cool tech. Dude, 100%. 100%. And I think it works both ways, too, because if you... If you play a specific card, like let's say you're just trying to really, you know, deck build in a new way because you're just either bored of it or, you know, you want to like try something new that you've never tried before uh, and you find that weird card and you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll give that a shot. I'll put that in the deck and then yeah. it works. Then when you see it in limited, you're like, ah, ha, ha. Yeah, this exactly. Could do something, <laughs> you know, I, I like that aspect of it. So, for Why? example, I threw a card into this deck that was exactly that. So, that's cool. Has a ring light built into it. Interesting. Just flipped my screen. So oh, you're good. Hopefully it looks, and it looks like maybe it's a little too zoomed in. There we go. You're good on my end. I can flip okay. you, though, if you want. Oh, no, I think I'm good to go now. Sweet. All right. Well, you ready to kick this thing off and see how yeah, this goes? Yeah, let's get after it. Dude, I'm looking forward to it. I have no idea if this deck is going to like function, but we'll <laughs> figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out together, right? <laughs> we'll do it together. Hopefully you don't crush me too bad. But I guess, wait, that's well, my I'm job because I'm playing... Any, any I'm playing, say crush on it, I'm so playing Bravo, okay. so I'm the crush one, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Would you like even or odd? 
Let's go odd. All right. I always call odd myself. And it is odd. Look at that. All right. Got the one. Okay, you get to pick first or second. Um, I will go second. All right, I'll go first. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we are going to go with... Let's see. Um... Oh, it's interesting that we could do all these cool things. I don't know if I keep some of these. I might keep some of these. Let me keep this. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, Bravo effect, pitching a blue scar for a scar, leaving me with one resource floating. Use my wonderful blue sigil of solace to gain one life. You watch out. And uh, I'm gonna arsenal a card and pass to you. Did I lose you? I hope not. Testing one, oh, I two, lost three. You. Oh, there you are. Oh. Can you hear can me? Can you hear me? I can now hear you. Now I can. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we're good. I, I I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I gained a life with Blue Sigil of Solace. I cycled a card, giving uh, the Bravo using the Bravo effect, and then I arsenaled and passed. Okay, um, so end of your turn, I am going to play my red sigil. Dude, he's coming in with the red sigil <laughs> off the top. Look at him. 23. 23. I thought I thought I had you. I was like, I'm not going to attack. Ha ha. And then <laughs> turns out you had me. Yeah, so I will draw back up to four. Sweet, man. And let's uh, get this rocking. So... Um... I am going to pitch sink below for two. Okay. Red versus blue. That's right. I played the blue one. You played the red one. Yours was better. <laughs> um, and then let's let's go ahead and play blue sigil. Uh, so floating one, mm -hmm. um, and then swinging in with dawn blade. So okay. four. Coming in. Four. And if it hits, you get to uh, arsenal a card. Is that right? Yes. If it hits, you arsenal a card. Huh? Four. One resource and uh, one card. Or, oh. no, two cards. I just realized I am playing a ninja equipment, so <laughs> yeah. I'm swapping that out. <laughs> that one doesn't function. I don't think that that's allowed. Yeah, it's not going to work. All right. Hmm. Anyway. For four. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and... I think I can make the next turn work just fine. Uh, we're going to play Staunch Response as a, re as a defense reaction blocking five. Blocking five? All right. I will... Um, I'm going to pitch a Scour for one and spend that one stroke of Foresight, giving it plus two and reprise. Uh, so so that did that come from hand or from Arsenal? Oh, it came from hand. Okay, so then I will draw a card and put a card from my hand on top or bottom of my deck. I'll go ahead and put that on the bottom. Okay. Um, so yeah, now that's coming in for, what, six? I take it, I take the one. All right, um, so I will, what's this action here? Arsenal um, a card, right? Yeah, just, if it's an arsenal. Reveal the top card. Okay, Biting Blade is revealed. Okay. Um, and I will arsenal that. Biting Blade what? Biting Blade Red. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. All right, so Dawn Blade coming back. He's going to the bottom. Drawn four, your go. Okay. We are going to... Hmm... Mm-hmm. How to do this. 
I'm going to pitch to use the Bravo effect, and then I'm going to pitch to use Anothos, attacking you for six. Six? Just six. Pitching two blues, and both of them cost three or two or more. Sorry, both of them cost three or greater, so it comes at you for six. Okay. Um, you know, being at 23, I think I'm just going to take that six and sure. try and use those cards. All right, get you. All right, so. All right, so you take six, dropping to 17. Got my pirate counter here. You have a pirate <laughs> counter? Slow down. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, that is so blingy. That was awesome. All right, so any anything further here? Nope, that was it. All right, I used cool. my action point. Let's um So I'm at seventeen, alright. So I'm gonna just first start off with a blue scar for a scar. Coming in for two, and since I'm at seventeen, uh it has to go again. Okay. We will take the two. Go to eighteen. Okay. Then we are going to play. We're gonna pitch, scour the battlescape um, for three floating one to play driving blade red. Okay. Um, and then we will use that floating to attack with dawn blade for six. Mm-hmm. And um, one card in hand. One card in hand. One in arsenal. Okay. I will. Let's see. Driving blade just gives it go again. Is that right? Uh, correct. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take the six down to twelve. Okay. Um, I will pitch blue sharpened steel for three floating two to attack in again with Dawnblade for three. Three, huh? Okay. And we know you have the um, the two resources floating, and you can use the arsenal card, unfortunately. Biting Blade gives plus three, the red gives plus three, so... Coming in for three... Damn, my office is getting hot. I might need to turn on the AC, but it really <laughs> screws with the... Uh, it's like this giant R2-D2 thing behind me, and it's loud. <laughs> That's okay. If you have to, you have to. Uh, I'm not going to block it and take three and go to nine and give you a token. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. All right. Um, well, that's it for my turn. So I will throw... Well, I... wait a minute. Yeah, I'm wasting two resources here, but I don't have go again, so it doesn't really matter, huh? It's up to um, you. I mean, I, there's nothing else I can... I, I guess I could spend this in Arsenal and take you down a little further. Yeah, it's known information. Let's spend it since it is exactly two, and that's what I've got floating. Okay. So I'm going to add six. plus plus three, and you didn't block with anything. I blocked hand, with right? nothing. Okay, so, all right, I will bottom these two, draw back up to four, and your go. Okay. Um, let's see, I don't want to do this. I don't think I have the resources for all of that. Okay, uh, we are going to pitch a uh, yellow to use uh, Bravo's effect, giving the next attack dominate. 
-hmm. No resources floating. We're gonna play our red drone that's banned. And we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna pitch a blue, so that does give me your resource. So it's coming at you for six with dominate. Six dominate, and that's so I can only block with one card from one hand. One card from hand, that's right. Um you know, I'm at a healthy seventeen. I'm gonna take the six. Okay. And then I'm going, going to the eleven. I'm gonna pitch the last card in my hand to play a red pummel on top of that. Uh, to give it plus four, and if it hits, they discard a card. So this is coming at Ooh. you for ten. Ten? Well, I'm losing a card anyway here. Well, I, I... Yeah, there's no way I can block that with one card. So, therefore, I should just take the extra... How many more? Three more? It's ten total. All right. Yeah, let's... Let's just take that. Okay. And then you get to choose a card from your hand and discard it. Yep. And that is going to be a yellow sink below. Okay. I'm going to draw up and pass on over to you. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have a counter here on old Dawn Blade. I will... Pitch. Um, let's see. Mm. Clark says, That's... don't forget about Goliath Gauntlet. No, I haven't forgotten about it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to pitch Steel Blade Shot Floating One. Okay. Or Blue Oof. Driving Blade. Okay, so um, plus one then. Yep, and then coming in with Dawn Blade spending, so that's coming in for five. five. Go again. Five. Um, we will block with a Stonewall Confidence and that's it. We'll block with a Stonewall Confidence. Okay. So that's blocks three. Yep, alright, so taking two. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, have any attack reactions? Um I'm trying to decide. Yeah, this isn't like, doesn't seem the best, but yes, I'm going to play my red iron song response to give it plus three. Okay. So and five, six, seven, eight, and I'm defending three. Yeah. I'm going to play a blue sink below and I'll cycle this card. So that'll add a plus two. So I'll still take okay. three from this. Okay. Um, I do have go again on my weapon, but Correct. I don't have any more uh, resources. So that's going to be it for my turn. Okay. So I took uh, three down to three. Okay. Hmm. That is a shame. Hmm. 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 Well, Waste two card to hand. Again. Two card hand is not good. We're going to arsenal and pass. All right. We are going to play red, sharp, and steel. Whew. My goodness, you picked the right class, man. You drew some powerful <laughs> cards. <laughs> you know, it's... It's uh, or maybe I'm just drawing the the few that made it into the deck. Well, well maybe so, <laughs> but it's either way, it's working out really well for you. So we are then going to pitch uh, three floating two to come in with that dawn blade um, for four. Four, four. I'm gonna crack the hope merchant's hood, and I'm going to cycle these three cards into the deck. And I believe I. Shuffle them first, yeah, and then I just redraw. Okay. Go on to the top and let's shuffle you. See if we can find some more stuff in here. That could help us. You're coming in for four, right? Correct. Two resources floating. No, actually, that's not true. It's coming in for seven. Yes, that's right. Sharp and steel is gross. Man, I might just need to concede, let's be honest. <laughs> Gross. Okay. 
shuffled enough, drawing three to complete that process. Oof, okay. Um, so we're gonna block here for one, and then we'll block an additional six to block seven. All right, and I'm coming in for seven. Six, seven. Um, I am just in the interest of using my cards. I'm gonna spend my one resource for this blue razor reflex to give it a plus one. Cool. I take one. And that's it for my turn. All right. I am down to two. Things are not looking good for me. Yeah, things are looking tough for the hero here. Well, that depends on who you're rooting for, right? <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we can make things a little bit more interesting. Oh, I should have arsenaled that. I'm so dumb. Totally forgot to arsenal a card that I could have, but that's okay. I think you may have it anyway, but let's try this. Let's try this. Um, we're going to destroy the Goliath Gauntlet. We're going to pitch to use the Bravo effect to mm -hmm. give Dominate. And we are going to play a Cartilage Crush, pitching... One, two, three, so that leaves us with one resource again. So this is a Cartilage Crush Red coming in for seven plus two from the gauntlet, so nine dominate, and if it hits four or more than the next attack or the next action you play, next turn costs an additional one resource. Alright, well and so blocking with one card. Yes. See, if I would have arsenaled this card I am gonna block with, I could have completely not taken any damage. Oof. But I will play the sink below to block four. Um, that will do you five then. All right, going so down to take two. Five down to two, and then your next attack, or sorry, your next action, I should say, costs you one greater. Okay. And then do I want to throw something on the bottom of my deck? Uh, yeah, to cycle Actually, no. Cards. I do not want to. All right, I'm going to draw four and just pray. <laughs> That's all I have left. Target action custom. All right. Um, I'm going to start off with. Hmm. <coughs> Ugh. How do I want to sequence this? I feel like this is the important part where you got to think it through, right? <laughs> I think you got a lot of good chances here, though. I will say that. Yeah. All right, so first things first. I'm going to pitch Iron Song Determination yellow to give uh, Dawnblade plus one and dominate until end of turn. Mm -hmm. Go again, of course. Uh, so then we will pitch Driving Blade for three... Loading two to come in with Dawnblade for four, five, dominate. Yep, you killed me. Ah, oh, Good game, and sir. And I didn't even get to play this Biting Blade <laughs> on top. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. I didn't have anything. Oh, I didn't right. have anything. Hey. Let's, let's run it back. You want to run it back? Yeah, sounds great. I'd be glad to run it back. Again, sir. I'll let you beat me, uh, beat me again. I didn't let you. You just did anyway. You know, 20. it was a it was a close one though. Twenty. Ah, uh, you know, it felt it like you had control of that the whole time. I think that's yeah, the problem with the Yeah, I guess the damage Rinthia. that I took was like. I'll take it for fun. Yeah, I'll just yeah. take it for fun. I, I'll keep my hand. You go ahead and hit me because I'm just gonna kill you. <laughs> that's kind of how it felt. Like, oh great, I did something. Ah no. Yeah. Well, there's always this time. Maybe I'll draw any of my, like, crippling crush. Stuff that'd be good if I drew Crippling Crush this time, or Showtime. You know, were you running more than thirty? You were getting greedy. <laughs> I run, I'm running thirty-two cards. I'm running thirty-two cards, and all right, um, that's not too greedy. I ran into two full hands of blues with like two attacks. That was rough at the beginning of the game, but I don't think I should have done what I did at the beginning of the game. I think I should have, I think I should have done some different stuff personally. But that was just. You know, that's just me. We'll you see. try it we'll out. It and, uh, 
You can't. And then you know for next time. You can't get them all right. All right. Um, let's see. So you won. Going second. That means you get to go first. All right. We'll just we'll just play the old reversal. Yeah. You know. Make everything nice and uh, balanced. There. I'm into it. Cut it. Okay. A couple of times. Oh yeah. I'll do the same. All right. I'm good to go. All right, yeah, let's... Good luck, luck, sir. Good luck. Going to four. And... God, expensive. I guess not. The most expensive thing in my deck is, like, three. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how uh, it works for a uh, warrior. Yeah... I'm like, is it worth giving you that? Do I just want... I'm just going to come out swinging and see how it goes, all right? Sure. So we're, we're hitting or three floating one to play a blue driving blade. So plus one and go again. Mm -hmm. Spending that on the old Dawn blade. So coming in for four, go again. Sure. Four and go again, he says. Uh, let's go ahead and block. Hmm. It's a it's a tough decision. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> let's block five. Okay. I will, and I spent all of that. Mm. It's like, do I really want, I, I might as well just spend my resource. I'm going to have a little inefficiency here, which just for some reason bothers me so much. But I will just come in again for three here with Dawnblade. Okay, for three? Yep. I'll block three. Okay. Uh, I will arsenal a card. Sweet. And draw. All right, I'm going to draw three along with you. And then we'll see what we got. Okay. I am going to... How do I want to do this? I want to do this. I'm going to use the Bravo effect. I am going to... I wonder if I can do any other cool things. Let's just try this early. I'm going to crack the Goliath Gauntlet early. Let's do it. And then yep. I will um, pitch here to play a Crush Confidence for 9 with Dominate if it deals four or more, you lose all um, hero effects and activated abilities. Okay, wow. All right, well, I'm gonna start off. Mm. How much is it coming in for total? Nine with Dominate. Okay. So I'm going to pitch One of these two. I'm going to pitch Nimble Strike to block, or Floating One, to block with Steel Blade Shunt cool. for four. Sounds good. Um, any ARs? Nope. All right. Well, I will... Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's a defense reaction. Mm -hmm. So uh, blocking four more. Sure. And I am going to put one of these cards on the bottom of my deck and draw. Kay. So I'm blocking eight. Cool. That'll mean you take one. Right. All right. Bring all this stuff back. Uh, end of your turn. Not arsenal that. Yep. You want to play a sigil? Um. 
not. Um, I'm not gonna do that actually. We will go go to my turn. Okay, cool. Over to you, sir. All right. I don't even have the resources to do that. Hmm. All right, um, I'm just going to, gosh, this is just bad. Um, float two, coming in with Dawnblade for three. Okay. Um, I am going to then, uh, hmm. I can do this way. Just for three. Just three, no we'll go again. Not block with a card from hand. Okay. Um, yeah, no no attack reactions. Okay, I will take the three. All right. I will arsenal a card, and your go. All right. I'm going to pitch to use Bravo's effect, leaving me with one resource floating. I pitched a blue nimble strike. I'm gonna pitch a. Uh, I'm gonna play a regurgitating slog, pitching a uh, blue cartilage crush to pay one plus two. That leaves me with two, I guess. I should say it better that way. So this is coming in for six with dominate. I couldn't discard six. a slogism or show a slogism from my graveyard, unless I have one. Do I have one? No. Six with dominate. Six dominate. All right, I'm going to. Um, oh, actually, that's a defense reaction. Sorry, my sequencing is. Uh, awful no um i will not declare any blockers but i i will have a defense reaction okay go ahead uh, all right sink below for three okay uh well i'll pay the two resources and i'll play a blue pummel on top of this to add plus two Oof. all right no further reactions for me okay so this hits you you discard a card and you're going to take uh, three from the block and then four, five. So five total. All right, I take five, going down to 14. Down to 14. And you have to discard a card as well, which is the, yeah. for me, yeah, the I biggest just, thing. I just discarded this uh, red scour. Cool. Which I don't know why I chose to do that, but I did. <laughs> I'm okay with you discarding any card <laughs> at this yeah. point. Let's be honest. All right. Anything <laughs> further? Nope. That was my turn. That's all I got. All right. Cool. Um. All right. We are going to pitch a razor reflex. Um, actually, I don't need to pitch yet. I need to have something to pay for. I'm going to play red, sharp, and steel. Sure. Then we are going to pitch the re, uh, Razor Reflex Floating 2 to come in with Dawnblade for 6. Okay. Hmm. We'll block with the, the legs, and then we'll block an additional five uh, to block six. Okay, I will spend the two um, to throw a Biting Blade on top for sure. another plus two. Okay, so I take two. Um, and then, actually, there's another plus one for, because of the cards in hand. Oh, good, co good catch. So I take uh, three, so I go down to 14. Yep, and that's it for me. Okay. I am going to Arsenal and pass to you, sir. Right. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and say... Is 
This is just a poor hand. Is it? That's okay, though. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. So I'm going to be spending... Yeah, we will pitch three to... Floating two to come in with Dawnblade for three. Okay, I will not block it. Okay, I will have an attack reaction. Okay. Um, we're going to spend those two on Biting Blade to give this plus two. Cool. And then I'm going to pitch Sink Below, um, floating one to play a blue Razor Reflex on top, um, cool. giving this... Plus three. Yes. Cool. So, or no, uh, this is a blue Razor Reflex. So. Yeah, so it gave it plus one, then plus two yeah. from the Biting Blade, so it's six coming in across, right? Yep. Cool, so I'm at eight. Unless right. my math is off. I don't know. I think that's I think right. That sounds right. Um, okay, so that's it for me. Okay, I took I took that so that we can try this. Here we go. We're going to try uh -oh. this. We're going to... Let's double check. I, okay. I was suspicious. <laughs> Bravo. Go. Then we're going to pitch three, six, seven. Crippling Crush Dominate. Let's go. Oh, my God. 11 Dominate. You have nothing oh. in your arsenal. All I can block... One card. Just for three. Yes! <laughs> wow. All right, you take eight and discard two cards. Oh my god. This is awful. <laughs> we did what it. What do I want? <laughs> this is just terrible. Oh, this was the moment. This was it. Oh, you know what? Let's... Let's... Don't say, oh, you know what? No, that makes me that makes me worry. All right, so I'm going to discard some really good cards, uh, particularly this Iron Song response I was pretty excited about. So thanks for that. What would you discard? <laughs> uh, red Iron Song response and a red Demolition Crew. Okay, my turn is done, so I've okay. got a card in hand. I'm going to... Oh, that was that felt so good. <laughs> That's the reason yeah. people play Guardian is so exactly. They can play what a big turn! Crippling um, Crush dominated. Oh, I'm going to play a yellow snatch for three. Okay. If it hits, go again. Um. Well. Um. Or no, sorry. Uh, if if it hits, draw a card. Not draw a card. Oh, got you. Uh, for three, he says. Indeed. Okay, I think the first thing we have to do, and this is like a weird thing to do. I think the first thing at this point we have to do is pop the hood and cycle. I think we, well, maybe I don't have to pop the hood. Hmm. Maybe I don't pop the hood. That's the only card in hand, right? That is correct. Only Cur card in hand. Currently. The only card in hand, currently. I mean, you know, I was hoping you would let it through so I could draw a card and, you know, have a little more gasoline. But okay, I I'll let it through that's then. That's not going to happen. I'll let it through. <laughs> Three? Well, it, so if it hits, I draw a card off Snatch. Yeah, and then your turn's over. Unless you pop the scalers on it. Yeah. Um, I think just three. I think. I, wait, hold on. Let me think about what I'm going to do. Ooh, I can't do that, can I? No matter what. Hmm. So then I, maybe I am incentivized to pop the hood. I think I am incentivized to do it. Oh, it's such a weird, okay, draw that we drew into. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this Hope Merchant's hood and I'm going to cycle these two cards. Maybe I do the other two. Nah, I'm gonna cycle these two cards. And I'm gonna draw two. And we'll see what we draw. All right. All right. 
sweet. Um, we'll block with a we'll block three with a blue crush confidence. Yeah, no, uh, no reactions. <laughs> no nope. draw. No Got nothing. All right, cool. I'll draw back up to four and you'll uh, love to see it. Start to feel my fate impending upon me. All right, here's here, that's the hope. We're gonna pitch to Bravo, floating a resource, and then we're gonna pitch because um, we got to play this crush confidence for seven, and this is uh, floating two resources left, I think. I had one, and then two, three. No, I have one still. Okay, so it's coming in for seven with Dominate, sir. Seven Dominate? That is not nice. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. Uh, we're going to block with... You know, I can't really play around a good attack reaction anyway. So we're well, going to block... I have no cards currently, so you're okay. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm just going to block two with my demo crew then. Okay. So I go down to five. one. Yep. Yep. All right, you're down to one. Now all of your um, hero effects and activated abilities are turned off next turn. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> You love to see the crush. You go love on. to. There's just nothing you can do about it, you know. It's but that's okay. We're we're gonna go ahead and how are we gonna do this? We're gonna pitch sharpened steel to come in with dawn blade floating two, so coming in for three. For three, and I'm at eight. Can you go through your um? Go through your well. I guess you can give it. You can almost always give it plus three. Almost always give it plus three. So that push to six, and then if you do it again, and you have how many cards? Two cards. Two cards in hand. Okay. So like and. What would the play be here? It'd be like Iron Song response, but then I'd have blocked three of it, so it, it's like a net. I'm already taking three. Um, you could play like Stroke of Foresight, Stroke of Foresight. If I don't block anything, I'm dead. That'd be interesting. That would I, be. Uh, I don't want to be. That dead. would be a hand. I don't want to be dead, man. Well, well, shoot. Um, hmm. Coming in for three. I guess we can risk it a little bit. Risk it for some sort of a biscuit. Uh, we'll block two. Okay. Uh, I will play a blue Iron Song response, giving it just plus one since that came from hand. Sure. Um, and then I will use my two floating um, on a biting blade for plus three. Three plus four, mm -hmm. um. So so total of plus five, so coming in for eight on this attack total. Sure. And then I blocked two of it, so I take six down to two. Correct. Yep. All right. Cool. I'm at two. And... You're at one. Woo! Spicy. Look at us go, man. Look at us go. Let's try and to get I... there. Yeah. My my phone is starting to. I think I had about an hour and a half, so I think I've got about like 15 or so more minutes, unfortunately. Well, let's see if I can finish uh, you then. You ready? Yeah, I, th I think we can get there. <laughs> I'm going to use the Bravo effect, pitching a blue showtime, and then I'm going to play a four-cost debilitate, pitching uh, blue plus the one to pay the four. This is coming in for seven with dominate. Seven dominate. Can you stop and all? I cannot. Mm. The best I can do is stopping three. Technically, you could block with the Iron Rot if you wanted to. Oh, that's true. Well, that's four, so you're still coming still through. Still poking for... you. Still coming through. Dude, look at us go, man. I crushed oh. you eventually. You the, got the crush, there. I, you know? It helps when you find Crippling Crush, am I right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think 
in that first game, I was clearly drawing my warrior stuff, and I think you drew some more of that, you know, Guardian gasoline on yours. So, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Man, I love playing Sealed, because you play, like, these these kind of decks that you wouldn't normally see. I mean, suboptimal. We can we can all kind of agree they're suboptimal decks, right? Most certainly. And uh, the fact that you just get to jam a couple of games with some, some cards you may not have put into your deck, I think that's so much fun. Absolutely, absolutely. I absolutely well, I'm definitely, that. you know, always into to jamming some more. So, uh, you know, definitely holler. That, that was super fun. I appreciate you uh, playing some games. Yeah, man, I appreciate it too. Thanks for uh, dropping by. Thanks for hopping on the Discord. The reason that you, uh, the reason that we even did this is because you shouted out on the Discord. You were like, "Hey, I want to play some sealed on the DM Armada Discord," and I was like, uh, "Yes, I'm interested," and that's <laughs> sweet, man. So I appreciate that. Absolutely, absolutely. I, you know, getting ju just kind of getting into the game, and you know. I just constantly want to play for whatever reason, and so uh, I was fun, excited man. that you were taking me up on it. <laughs> it's a fun game. There's nothing, uh, no qualms about it. It's a really Absolutely. fun game. And I think it's so easy to just kind of jam like Blitz or like 30 card deck for this game that it yeah. makes it hard to just want to put it down. Totally. Makes it really tough to want to put it down. So I appreciate you uh, shouting it out, and I'd be down to play some more in the future. All right, awesome. Well, I will be sure to pop into that Discord and uh, see if you or anybody else wants to play some more in the future. And super fun, so thanks for having me. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. It was super fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that. All, All right, right, man. Right on. We'll, well catch you, have you a good later. One. You too. All right, see you. Thanks. Bye. Boom. And just like that, he vanishes into thin air. That was fun. Man, That was a that was an interesting, like... Pull. I wonder what we could have done instead. I wonder what what could we have done with this instead. Here, let's see if we can pop our uh, our webcam back on here. Let's see if it'll let me deactivate and reactivate. Will it? Yes. Boom. So what what else could we have put together? I mean, we had some decent other stuff. Let's push this in. Let's let's go ahead and bring it in close. Let's let's go ahead. Just right there. What else could we have put in this? These are the. A Wounded Bull's interesting as a red. Demolition Crew Red's interesting. I always see, like, Nimble Strike Nimbleism as, like, fine. We had two red Razors, which really made me want to play. And a Barraging, which really made me want to play, like, a Warrior. But I don't think... I don't know. We could have probably played a Warrior, couldn't we have? Yellow Wounded Bull. Okay, then we get into uh, non-generics. We get into class-specific stuff. We had Pack Hunts. Let's see. We had a Savage Feast Red... We had a Wrecker Romp, yellow, and then a Barraging Beatdown, yellow, Pack Hunt. Yeah, there were some there were some pretty good Red Primeval, Red Savage. Some pretty good Brute cards. Distribution, you always want to look at the, um, at the colors that you have. See how many resources you can actually generate. Particularly for things like Brute and Guardian. If you don't have enough blues, or in, you know, Brute's case, blues and yellows then it's just going to be a bad day. It's going to be a bad time, but this looks pretty good as far as distribution. It's not very many cards, and you do have to be very careful of, like, you want six and seven attack things across the board, and if you have a ton of those in, like, generic slots, like, these are great for that, then you can totally run it pretty steady. Um, in the deck that we actually had, I'm curious, did we have any generic attacks that were good for that? The Slogism also makes it really, really tempting. We didn't actually get to pull a Slogism and put it down on the table. Regurgitating Blue. We had a red Regurgitating. That made it tempting. Uh, we had Pummels as well. Yeah, maybe it might have even been better just resource distribution-wise to run Yellow Pummel as well, Drone might have been better just to run brute but you can't pass up when you pull a crippling crush you can't pass it up man you just can't do it uh, i don't think we could have done anything with ninja ninja is so hard to do we did have like lots of you know now that i look at that if we if we like toss that card and that card all the rising knee thrusts and leg taps those are pretty good uh, we don't have enough for the mcginchy release to ever make sense yeah, we could have done like some rising knee thrust stuff, but the rest of the combo line's just not not quite good. 
Uh, though that is interesting. I, I didn't think about it enough. I should have looked perhaps a little bit more because Kadachi, Kadachi, like leg tap open the center is pretty solid. Um, let's see how many attack reactions. Oh my god, we had three strokes. We had that. We had that. Man, we could have played. Oh my god, guys, what was I doing with my life? I got I got too interested in the. Uh, I got too, <laughs> too interested in Guardian from those sick Guardian pulls. We could have totally had some disgusting attack reaction stuff going on. If we include those red razors, we've got... Well, that, that one sucks, but... And so does this one, in my opinion. But if we're not thinking about attacking twice in a turn, and we're just worrying about... That's a good one. Uh, and we're just worrying about, like, attacking once and making it big. Or doing, like, nimble strike stuff and, like, other cheap attacks... This would have been pretty good, because we have a Stroke, we have a Biting Blade, two Iron Songs, Sharpened Steel, Overpower, more Strokes. We have like four Stroke of Foresights. That's gross. Mm, that would have been a lot of attack reactions. We could have made that happen. I don't know. We could have done a lot of different stuff. It's very intriguing. But I hope you guys enjoyed some sweet, sweet Sealed gameplay. I love Sealed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, let me know in a comment below, and we'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye. Have a good evening. Have a good one.